A Rossville teenager is still in the hospital after being jumped on earlier this week. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. News Channel 9's Drew Belea spoke with the man's mother and a friend who was there when the beating happened. I'm trying not to cry. Lori Pace has spent several sleepless nights at the hospital where her 19-year-old son, Spencer, is recovering from a vicious hit to the head. He's the best little boy in God's green earth. He'll do anything for anyone. He turned around to defend himself and he got hit with the rock. It's that quick. Daniel Elrod and another friend were with Spencer on Monday night. Walk off through the trail, get to the gas station, and come back every day. It's just normal. They saw two boys being bullied. So me, Spencer, and his friend Jake walk outside, make sure the boys aren't going to get bullied again. You know, tell them we'll walk with them to Happy Valley. The boys are standing right out here. Once they got near the apartments on Indian Avenue, Daniel says the bullies returned and began picking on the kids again. The boys got put, thrown in the woods right there. The three bullies turned their attention on Daniel and Spencer after Daniel says they spoke up. He turned around after he got hit with a stick and they chucked a 15 pound rock at his head. Daniel says Spencer was kicked while down and left on the side of the road as the bullies ran off. I was picked on as a kid. I know what it feels like. It's why we try to stand up because there's no need for it. Spencer has been in the hospital since Monday night with a serious brain injury. His mother says he is now talking and walking. There's a few good people in this world that still stand up. I'm proud of them. I really am. Drew Belea with that story. Police say they are very familiar with this group of teens accused of beating up Spencer and bullying the other boys. One juvenile was arrested this morning, and Rossville police are looking for two other adults. Police have issued arrest warrants for Josh Dale and Tyler Ray. Investigators say they frequent the Rossville and Fort Oglethorpe areas, but may also be in Cleveland, Tennessee. Officers say they should be considered armed. If you've seen them or know where they are, police would like to hear from you.